Hello my loves, welcome back to another video. I'm Ashley and as you can see, we have some guests today, although technically I'm the guest here. Yeah. <laughs> An interesting one. So basically we have Lauren and Shannon here because we are helping Lauren both unhaul and organize her books in her new house. So we figured we would film the process because why not? Do you want to introduce yourselves? Please use works. That's you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Sickening. <laughs> Hello, I'm Lauren. Um, you can find me over at Fiction Tea on basically every social media platform. And um, I have a big problem which involves many, 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 many books. I don't know how many I have. Maybe we'll count and find out if I have a library. I don't think we're going to count. I'm oh, not going to okay. count. You count. I'm this calculus, so I can't. Um, <laughs> I have an unspecified amount of books I'm going to be unhauling a lot. I have very limited shelf space in my new house, so um, Ashley and Shannon are very kindly helping me. Yeah, I'm also a hoarder, so that, this should be fun. <laughs> She's gonna get roasted. Yeah, <laughs> so basically it's mine and Ashley's job to try convince her to get rid of the books that she doesn't need anymore, but wants to hang on to. And I may gift them some of the books I don't want. Maybe. We're here to window shop. Anything that we really want, uh, we're gonna tell Lauren she doesn't need to. <laughs> Because I am also a hoarder. <laughs> so. I should have probably specified I'm a Virgo. They both are. I, I refer to these two as my big hoes. Um, so, yeah. Honorary so Virgo. And the honorary Virgo. I'm a Pisces. Very organised Pisces. So. Virgos and Pisces get along very well because they're both very creative. After the astrology lesson you did, me. <laughs> do you want to introduce who you are? I am Shannon, and you can find me mostly on Instagram. And my handle is Ridiculous Roots. And I have travelled from Wales it's four and a half hours. I got up at four o'clock to help her because she has a problem, as you will soon see. And they both know I'm immensely grateful. I've given them tea. <laughs> I've given them Dr Pepper. I've given them the matter of my neighbourhood. I was going to say, Shannon brought the tea. <laughs> <laughs> What's technically my tea? <laughs> okay, so what is the situation we are dealing with? Could you have a lot of these under your bed? Yeah, so in my current home, I lived with my family still. I um, had a very small room and I had a large portion of my books underneath my bed. I had one of the beds that you pull up and it had storage underneath, so a lot of them were under there. I had two bookshelves inside my wardrobe, um, which held my arcs and old books slash fairy loot editions. And then I had two around my room which were double stacked because I could never fit Billy bookshelves in my bedroom so I had the double stacked um, deeper display units so um, think basically like four bookshelves worth of books on my floor alone that doesn't include underneath my bed. It's a lot of books. Yeah, yeah. so um, what we actually have behind us and in front of us and everywhere and around us <laughs> Stacks upon stacks of books that we are gonna make our way through. <laughs> because it just went this way. <laughs> Disappearing. <now. laughs> so we're gonna sort through this lot and it's probably gonna be a many hour process. I believe we have McDonald's on the way, we have plenty of cookies to keep us going, and we're gonna take you through the process. So enjoy! Have fun! <laughs> have we got any agenda while she's not here? I'm gonna steal the st stalking deck. Oh my god. Stalking Jack the Ripper books. I'm after them. I, Lauren has a lot of different versions of Caraval, which is one of my save, favourite favorite series. So what she doesn't know is I'm going to take them. <laughs> I should probably mention, if anyone goes to the toilet, um, you need to really push the door closed because the carpet's quite moist off it. <laughs> Can you keep that in? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, you guys should totally check out. It's got such a good love triangle on it. We have another Stephanie Dover. Yeah. Uh, and I've kind of got all my bone season books together as well. Yeah. Um, I do want a Samantha Shannon shelf, obviously. Yeah, that's an arc. 
so it's, um, most the majority of the books in that pile are arcs. So do you want these separate? Yes, I'm going to keep marks separate. Ashley's already mm -hmm. made a plan in her head. <laughs> We're just catching I'm just up. Doing I'll follow that because I don't know what I'm doing. This is all logs, so you can move somewhere. If you've got a uh, Magellan. That's logs as well. Magellan. I'm just going. Oh, look at that. Lovely. Because like if we put all the like separated by hardbacks and sizes and shit, and then we can. I feel like we should carry on making piles, and as we're making piles, you should go through the piles we've made and decide what you're getting rid of. And then we'll go through it again and be like, okay, but actually, what are you going to get rid of? <laughs> after, so after you go through them and decide you need them all, we will go through them again and decide what you don't need. I am actually tempted to get rid of my book expo arc. I'm tempted. Really? Tempted. <laughs> I don't think I will, but if I do, Ashley, I will come to you first. If you want to. I know how much you love that book. Interesting. Kingdom of the Fears is behind you. I was going to say... We need to carry a mother skull corporate stack. I do, I do also. Oh, hello. Like, how did I do this also turn love off? these additions. Oh, uh, that little button at the corner? No, what, where? No. <laughs> there you go. Nothing oh. happened. Perfect. Is the battery dead? The battery may be dead. Oh, oh well. <laughs> ourselves in a <laughs> it's me in. <laughs> in a tower of things that are gonna fall if we breathe. Right, okay. I also feel like we're sorting them out way quicker than Lauren is managing to get through them. So now there's just all of these and Lauren's like <laughs> I wish more people had read that. 
It's a middle grade, but it doesn't read like a middle grade. And I don't... You can't see that. Nice. There is no light. <laughs> Seen them out. The Stephanie Garber books. <laughs> this is hard. She's so unimpressed. the one I was when I revealed and um, they helped ask me to help them reveal the cover and that's the one that I was but that wasn't the one that I wanted so <laughs> I don't know actually what's better Lady Prisoner the Aracle the Shattered Crown I feel like the Shattered Crown maybe I'm gonna keep the Shattered Crown Ironically, now it's like one of my favorite words. <laughs> I'm thinking, right? If I'm if I'm ever my computer's gonna be there, mm -hmm. so if I'm ever on Patreon lives or oh, doing something, good. that is gonna be my backdrop. Yeah. I want to do the bunsies in one. 
just because it didn't want you so much. Which one do you want facing, like, do you want this turned around so you can see the edges? Ooh, that's a nice shout. Spicy. You do you want a book end? Probably. No. Actually, no. No, yeah. I think that'll be okay. Stephanie Garner? Stephanie Garner? I don't think, I don't know if it'll fit. We can try. <laughs> I thought you we were going to find a way to Tetris them. <laughs> Carav like that one purely because it continues over the spines and then one caravel with one legendary um, Do you care which? I don't know what um, I'm going to display my Goldsboro ones Which are? The ones with the sprayed edges Like so that one's gold That's also your big one Because you could probably have them all lined up I know but I don't, I'm just like I'm trying to think of like ways to save space and I don't know if like I yeah, If you can want to save space then we can I think they would look nice all together though. Yeah. Okay, let's put them all the together. That's the one that you can like kind of. And then if I'm I'm tight for space, then I'll shift. Oh, Here you see Ashley putting up the books for me because I'm too short. <laughs> <laughs> Which one's your favourite colour? Uh, probably Ballad of Never After. Which one? The pretty little one. Still got. You there. could also put the thingy one behind that. And if you run out of room, you can take off the. Duplicate caravels and stack it behind. Right, so shove that behind it then. And there's the Barnes and Noble ones to go on. Oh, nice. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Stunning. <laughs> How did you arrange these? Well, I didn't. Ashley did. Sorry. This library is a product of Flonic. <laughs> <laughs> I should just put on the door like fucking copyright qualifications. <laughs> Hello, so it is considerably later, it's about 10pm, somewhere after that. We are all done. We're not. Like, we're done mentally, mentally not done. with the stuff. We have, however, done the bulk of the shelves. Lauren is over there, still sorting through hey guys. her other things. Um, but we mm -hmm. are going to get a head start on showing you the unhaul because there are hundreds of books. So we're just going to rattle through them really quickly and then Probably sometime later in the video I will show you what I've taken. Okay, we're starting a production line to show you all of these because we are quite literally going to have to rattle through. So, all of the books that Lauren is getting rid of. We have The Shattered World, Alone With You in the Ether, These Broken Stars, The Glass Hotel, To Best of the Boys, Lady Renegades, Miss Mayhem. Put these in the wrong order, but <laughs> The Rebel Bells. All of these Rainbow Rowell books that I do not know. Stephanie, I love you. I still love you, okay? All of these Stephanie Garber books. <laughs> Oh, and one that I <laughs> forgot to pick up, apparently. <laughs> we have the Half Bad series, some editions of The Bone Season. <gasps> that was the sound of Lauren dying in the background. The tour editions of Crescent City and, of course, Silver Flames. Some editions of The Kingdom of the Wicked series. A lot of these are duplicates, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Should probably mention that. Two editions of Empire of the Vampire. Whatever this is, check, please. Some more Caraval. This edition of The Song of Achilles, The City's Sun, The Glass Republic, and I've just realised these are the same series, Our Lady of the Streets, The Maidens, which I forced her to get rid of, Demon in the Wood, All the Wandering Light and Even the Darkest Stars, Mina and the Undead, Truly Devious, Defy the Night, The Hating Game, Escaping from Houdini, another of the Caraval series, Beach Read, You Had Me On Vacation, You and Me On Vacation. <laughs> <laughs> sure they did have me on vacation. <laughs> Dance of Thieves, Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom, The Shatter Me series, all of these Victoria Schwab books, uh, Spy X Family Volume 5 specifically, all of these Holly Black books. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> round two, we have Fangirl, various editions of Cassandra Clare books, Makeup Breakup, The Lost Witch, The Invisible Life of Adelie Rue, another Invisible Life of Adelie Rue, <laughs> Mina and the Undead, I called the, uh, the other one by a different title earlier. The Story of a Noble Woman. <laughs> <laughs> the Twilight series. Ninth House. The Snow Like Ashes trilogy. Sky in the Deep. Talon. The Immortal City. The Book Thief. The A Good Girl's Guide to a Murder series. The Fine Print and Terms and Conditions. No one is too small to make a difference. That's the book. <laughs> it wasn't just being inspirational. The Final Strife. A Torch Against the Night. Fury Bone. Infinity Sun. More Fury Bone. <laughs> <laughs> the Beautiful. The Atlas Six. Court of Miracles, Wild and Wicked Things, The Knife of Never Letting Go, The Savage Song and Our Dark Duet, Assassin's Heart, The Sisters of the Winterwood, A Deadly Education, 
It's the language of thorns. Eight detectives, the Hazelwood, Red Queen, the Witcher, Midnight in Everwood, <laughs> and we'll come back for part three. <laughs> part three. <laughs> An enchantment of ravens, all the crooked saints, kingdom of souls, the queens of Inislea, the sedition of shadow and bow, in my dreams I hold a knife, the ask and the answer and monsters of men, the American roommate experiment, incendiary, king's bin, hunting prince dracula and escaping from houdini, the skyward trilogy, the to all the boys i've loved before trilogy, a declaration of the rights of magicians, what if it's us, a vow so bold and deadly, i was just looking at this like <laughs> Game that we played. <laughs> a vow kingdoms will constitute you sad and deadly. Also this one. <laughs> That's all you get. Oh, it's the girl king. Two arcs of the Brown Cries Moon. God, stop laughing now. <laughs> the girl the sea gave back. Gallant, XOXO, Vespertine, Electra, Furyborn, Sky in the Deep, The Appeal, Everless and Evermore, Pride and Prejudice and Debauchery featuring our very own Lauren. The spirited and intelligent question. Lauren strives to live her life with a broad perspective, as encouraged by her doting father. Oh my god, a great deal of frolics and fun to be had! Hey. Hey. <laughs> frolic! Frolic! <laughs> In her kind schemes for Lauren, she sometimes planned her marrying Colonel Fitzwilliam. <laughs> he was beyond comparison the most pleasant man. He certainly admired her and his situation in life was most eligible. But <laughs> <laughs> it was melancholy to leave her to such society, but she had chosen it with her eyes open. <laughs> <laughs> I want a spicy section. <laughs> I don't think that exists in Pride and Prejudice. <laughs> well, it's undebauchery. <laughs> there definitely will be one. Okay, well, while you're looking for that, we're going to carry on. <laughs> After that interlude, Children of Blood and Burn. <laughs> this Woven Kingdom, The Invisible Library, The Secret Chapter, Onyx and Ivory, two more of Evelus. Now she is witch. We're done. <laughs> Are we? Yeah. Oh, you could have saved that little interlude for a bit later. <laughs> Go back to it. I'm not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> we have a very special reading of Pride and Prejudice and Debauchery. By Jane Austen, apparently, and Sylvia Hadfield. He asked me if it pleased me, and I replied in the affirmative. And then. <laughs> oh shit, I've gone read this! <laughs> I did not check this! And I replied in the affirmative. And then. <laughs> and then he thrust his finger. <laughs> And then he thrust his finger at my <laughs> <laughs> But with disappointment on my part. Oh no. Not for too long. Oh. And then he rose up, threw off his dressing gown, took me in his arms and lifted me on the bed, placing a pillow under my head. <laughs> that was a very long sentence. <laughs> then, letting my legs fall over the sides, he knelt on the floor oh, and separating my thighs with his arms, Stooped and kissed my quim. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it gets better. <laughs> and kissed my quim. <laughs> and I rejoiced, my darling sisters, for I wanted and needed him so. It set me on fire. Someone got a fire extinguisher. <laughs> and I could not avoid showing it by the convulsive twitchings of, <laughs> of my loins and buttocks. I'm sorry, I twitch a lot. <laughs> he again stood up and lifted my legs. His hands pressed them again and again. And he told me that I had delicious legs. <laughs> I bet I got a job in a <laughs> Oh, now we're within the next year. 
Um, as you could probably tell from the previous footage, we just started cracking and losing our marbles at one point. <laughs> but we did indeed finish the shells and they look banging. Are you pleased? I am buzzing. <laughs> And I was like, yes! Yelp review right there. <laughs> <laughs> if you would ever like to hire someone to organise your book sales, please visit frolicsrefiction.co.uk. Um, her fees will apply. And if you have more than a thousand books, she will be pricey. We thought we would go through what Lauren has unhauled that myself and Shannon have claimed. Mine <laughs> isn't too bad, I don't think. Yours is fine. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14. Shannon's got over 20. <laughs> <laughs> and then you bought books today? 26. You're going home with like 30 books. And we're not even done book shopping. Yeah. It's been a good weekend. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got two more bookshops to visit tonight as well. So, But yeah, we thought we would just run through the ones that we have claimed. I'm not going to go into these in detail or anything because we have been here long enough already, quite frankly. <laughs> <laughs> we've been through these books so many times. <laughs> I'm going to go through my stack, literally just hold them up and show you, and you guys can tell me which ones to prioritise. So we have Convenience Store Woman. <laughs> <laughs> All of these Naruto books, the manga, I really don't really know anything about this, so... Whereas it's my favourite anime of all time, so... I just know he runs. Yeah, he runs. <laughs> That's all I know. Believe it! Naruto no, no fans. That went straight over our head. <laughs> <laughs> Glad you're having fun. I am, I really am. <laughs> These two that I have been unsure about for ages, they basically convinced me to take them, or at least... They are good. Shannon did. It's good soup. Um, we might soup. as well if they're going. So we have You and Me on Vacation and Beach Read by Emily Henry. These are just glowing. Yeah, them? I was going to say all them. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite literally just glowing white. <laughs> A Declaration of the Rights of Magicians. The Appeal. The Skyward Trilogy that I've just hit myself in the face with. These are in hardback, so I'm chuffed with that. And one of them like, sprayed pages. Yeah, you're welcome. Sp sprayed pages. <laughs> <laughs> one of them is spread pages. <laughs> Oh, we make fun of her, but we love her. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't think, but I'm the oldest here. Oh. I'm not far off. I'm the oldest here. I'm the baby. I'm, also I'm like, the middle <laughs> child, no one cares about. <laughs> the one who wants attention. <laughs> and I'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> and then the final two that I have claimed are Escaping from Houdini and Hunting Prince Dracula, which are two out of four yep. in the Steel and Jack the Ripper series, so I need to get the... You said stealing dark peppers. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> stealing them. You're technically stealing them. I don't, I don't think you want to steal him. Jack the Ripper. But... Can I return him? <laughs> Stalking Jack the Ripper. So, yeah. That's me. <clears throat> Bear with me. We have two copies of The Bone Season, one of which is an arc, which we're just not going to talk about. We have... <laughs> You'll see that I am just as bad at hoarding as Lauren was um, because I have three copies of The Mask Falling which I haven't even finished reading yet um, so there's that I'm in pain Check Please, Sticks and Stones which is book two, I already have book one To Best the Boys Incendiary <laughs> <laughs> I just see one of those corners coming from my eye <laughs> The Language of Thorns and Shadow and Bone by Lee Bodugo Daughter of the Moon Goddess, The Final Strife, A Heart So Fierce and Broken, Vicious and Vengeful, A Darker Shade of Magic, <laughs> <laughs> Now She Is Witch, and My Babies, The Goldsboro, Once Upon a Broken Heart, and The Ballad of Never After. Glowing. Just... <laughs> just like the fight we had over Bone Season books and Stephanie Garber books. I cried. <laughs> The fact that you've managed to get rid of enough to give Shannon a collection. <laughs> Literally. And she still has duplicates. I already said to Ashley today, bets on once we're gone, you going back through that pile <laughs> because you know you've got extra space. <laughs> Honestly, no, I'm I'm very happy with what I've un I mean, I'm not happy, what but... What about any Bone Season or Caraval books you have there? Would you not pick them back up? Mm, not the paperbacks. Um, right. <laughs> so, what about so all of those hardbacks right there that you're eyeing up? 
I mean, I can see some legendary, but I've been wanting to get rid of like legendary in like some caravan for a while. So I mean, you're still left with literally a, a whole shelf. shelf. Yeah, I've quite literally got a so. Stephanie Garber shelf. Um, very pretty though. Yeah, it's it very is. pretty. How yeah. satisfying was it to put in those US editions and they just like be fit in perfectly? And I love how we're just all looking up there. Yeah, for reference, they're up there. Just in case you're like, why are they all suddenly going? <laughs> we're looking into the light. Um, but are I'm we going, being abducted? <laughs> I'm going to move my US editions into the back and make space for the... Yeah. And at least I don't need to worry about the Goldsboro editions. That's my problem now. <laughs> but my, I want everyone to know as well, I did not give them away lately, but I had, for those of you who know about the Once Upon a Broken Heart and Stephanie Garber books, the hidden cover wasn't what I wanted. <laughs> but I didn't like the spread pages as much um, on them and the hidden cover was not the one that I wanted, whereas the Waterstones edition I did have the one that I wanted and so it just made more sense to keep the Waterstones one. There was a lot of this last night. Yeah, <laughs> a lot. <laughs> it took a while, but we made it. You were going to hold hundreds of books. Literally. We have arranged hundreds of books and taken home hundreds of books on behalf of me and Sean and so, Oops. Well, not quite hundreds. We're still under 50 between us. Yeah. We'll see what happens when, yeah. we, go to, <laughs> when we go book shopping later. Um, but yes, I am going to wrap up this video here. So I hope you enjoyed the chaos of it. And I hope you enjoyed my lovely guests. I will, of course, leave their Instagrams down in the description box. So do go and check them out because they are wonderful people and take wonderful photos. So... Yeah. That's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Oh, right. <laughs> it's only because she's on camera. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so, now love you and leave you, let go on with the rest of your day, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to leave a like and a comment so we know that you're here. If you're not subscribed already, then please consider doing so. Down in the description box, you'll find information to not all the books I've just mentioned, because that's everything ever. Um, <laughs> all of my social media and other bookish stuff as well, so be sure to check that out if you haven't already. But for now, I hope you're having a lovely day, and I'll see you next time with a new video. Bye! Makeup brush so we can go, welcome back <laughs> to, to my channel. <laughs> Disney sign in the, in the corner. Welcome back. Welcome book <laughs> to my channel. Oh god. <laughs> Everything is awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna hear myself when it comes to editing this and I'm just like, <laughs> can't see anything. It's a point of broken heart and Stephanie Garber books. The hidden cover wasn't what I wanted. <laughs> Your peacock. <laughs> like, Not the peacock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, um. I've now forgot my outro. I normally spiel this off, but I've got performance. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>